Good evening and welcome back to Team Fortress TV's coverage of ESCA Invite Season 27. And tonight, for the first time this season, the powerhouse of North American TF2 is going up against a worthy opponent. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Swift NA challenging for your attack on Viaduct. My name is Corn Pop and joined tonight by Mela as my co-caster and Nysel working the production. Mela, right now there's only three undefeated teams left in Invite after tonight. There will be only two. Let's take a look at these teams. Yep, so uh, we have Froyo with the new Yomps roster. The new, new Yomps roster, that is. Um, yeah. Where now Yomps is going to be playing Pocket, Blaze, of course, still on the Roamer, Habib on Demo, Shade on Medic, Banny now on Scout, had that short little Pocket Soldier preseason tenure, but that has come to an end, and Eric on the Flank Scout. So back to sort of the, the roots of this era's Froyo with Banny on the Pocket Scout, Eric on the Flank Scout, and yeah, and instead of Psy, they now have Yomps. And over on Swift, they've got a pretty different roster from what we saw them playing with last season. They still have High Five on Scout, but otherwise it is a completely different roster. Bot Mode is also a Scout pair with him. Uh, Laz and Aim are their soldiers. Yite is going to be playing Demo Man, and then Zilly is up on Medic. I have seen uh, Yites change to Scout. They've kind of changed around, play around with that. So we'll see what they actually stick with for this match. But on paper, that's their roster. Um, quite different from the Swift we saw last season. It's basically an entirely new team, but still full of top-level players. And I think if uh, anybody's going to take a round off for Tech this season, so far, it's going to be this team because... Uh, they're pretty good. They're looking to go do Rewind Lin and uh, throw some good competition. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a good upcoming team, newly formed team. They have a whole lot of DM skill, a lot of, like, pug stars kind of all come, have all conglomerated to this one team. So it's, it's strong in that sense. Um, obviously, it's hard to imagine they'll be as strong as Froyo in cohesiveness and team play. But individually, they definitely have some players that can match up. Specifically, bot mode is just insane on scout. Um, I mean, his aim and everything. Just overall, he's really, really high impact on the scout right now. And I also think that aim has been playing a lot better recently. Like, he's he's always been a pretty solid pocket, but I think recently he's stepped it up. So that could definitely be a factor. Although, of course, the soldier factor on Viaduct is less than it is on almost any other map. I mean, mm -hmm. this, this map is so scout heavy, it's, I mean, it's really, if Swift wants to get the maximum rounds or win this game, it's definitely going to come down to high five on the scout and bot mode on the scout putting in serious work. Because, I mean, Banny is just, he, he's so good on the pocket scout, he outputs so much damage and gets frags. I mean, he's just good all around. He's probably the best pocket scout. So... To combat him, you're definitely going to need to out-aim him, which I think bot mode can certainly do. And High Five has flashes of that as well. I feel like he's been a, a bit less consistent than he has in the past these days, but High Five is definitely no joke on Scout. He's really good as well. So I think this is definitely, as many Viduck matches are going to come down to the Scout play overall. And then I think the next biggest factor, of course, since it's Viduck, is the demo play. Mm -hmm. And there's also just a huge advantage there for Freya and that really no one on the Swift roster is a demo main. And <laughs> Yite on demo is fine, but that's not optimal when you're going up against a tenured demo such as Habib. So Yite's going to have to play incredibly well. Uh, I, I mean, there's, there's definitely the odds are stacked against Swift going into this, but they have the skills to at least, I think, take one round. But uh, honestly... That's just about as much as I expect them to take. They could take maybe two. I would be surprised if they got... I'd be very surprised if they got three. And, I mean, obviously it'd be a huge shock if they won. So that's kind of yeah. where I'm standing pregame. All right. Well, fair enough. I do want to, like... I, I, I think it's kind of a good thing for Swift that they managed to come up against Furrytech on Viaduct. Historically, I mean, Viaduct's kind of more of a wish-washy map. Um, it can lead to a few upsets. In the past four seasons, we can just go over a couple of the uh, games Furrytech's played. Season 23, they played a game 4-3 against uh, Dead Babies Mad Guns. Season 24, another 4-3 against EBL Gaming. Season 25, another 4-3 against Fank Gaming. And then last season, it was a 4-2 against the old version of Swift. So, historically, Froyotech has had a lot of close matches on Viaduct. They haven't lost recently on this uh, map, at least not in regular season. But um, the last game a uh, couple days ago against, I think it was Hooligans for Hire, uh, was a 4-0, so if they're going to keep the streak up, this has to be a close game. Um, we'll see if that actually is how it plays out, but ideally we'd like to see something going on here. 
And because it's Viaduct, I mean, if they can just get, like, one good round on the board, um, you, nobody's going to be able to stalemate out one round for a super long time or roll in a very short amount of time either. So as we have a, a pace that's sort of set, and uh, we're going to have to be playing on that pace. Obviously, Viaduct, if you're uh, not aware, is first to four uh, as compared to every other TF2 map played in 6v6, which is first to five. So something to keep in mind. Um, I also kind of want to talk about, since it's Viaduct, uh, this can be a, pit a pretty big sniper-heavy map. Um, and with Froyo Tech, one strat I've often seen, uh, at least recent in, in recent seasons, is uh, because Scout is so powerful and Soldier's maybe not as powerful, it can be really effective to put your Soldier on Sniper on this map instead of one of your Scouts. And uh, Froyo Tech just happens to have one of the best uh, Snipers in the game playing Soldier for them. So that could uh, tip the scales in their favor as well. Yomps is a god on that class. Yeah, that's true. Um, Yomps actually, I'd say, is possibly the only high-level sniper in the server. No one else really snipes yeah. that much, to my knowledge. Bot mode dabbles, but I don't think he's in the same realm as Yomps as far as uh, like consistent, um, consistent headshots and just really all around. Bot mode's definitely, he's skilled, but he's just not at the same level as Yomps. Um, and then I guess also one of the interesting things about this map, just Blaze has historically, I mean, all the way back to seriously bro season 11, his roamer on Viaduct has just always been the best, so. Well, we are going live now. It is Swift NA taking on Froyo Tech on Viaduct. It's week two of the SEA Invites. Season 27, matches live on your screen. And uh, Yite is still on Demo Man, so we'll at least be starting up on that class. We're on of this first mid fight coming out here on Viaduct. We'll see who wants to get here first. Get some early damage down. High five on the point early. Bot mode up on that rock as well. Gonna be waiting for some soldiers to bomb in. Some scouts running across the points. Who wants to make the first move? It's been pretty passive so far, but it's only a matter of time. Aim's taking quite a bit of damage early on. Habib walking forward. Big bomb by Yomp now getting some damage down on to high five. Blaze is well on the back lines. Last getting juggled up on his gray. Now bombed in by Blaze, the first one to go down so far. And there goes another one. Aim trying to get in on the enemy team. Yomp's doing some damage down on the high five. He gets cleaned up by Eric, and this is going really well for Froyo Tech. All Swift have to back off. Bot mode finds a uh, quick little strike on a Yomps, but otherwise that was not a good mid for Swift. Yeah, that was just a complete methodical taking of the map control by Froyo, especially, uh, as I just noted, well played by Blaze. He just saw an opening on the flank and he took it. He was able to jump behind, draw two players back, take one of them out, and then jump away. And it that's exactly what won them the mid. And all the while, Yomps bombed in, took the positioning. But right now, they have the Pyro actually on bot mode. This is a pretty well-loved strat on Vidoc lately, pushing out to negate that forward hole. So they're going to be trying to take positioning right, but the problem is, now when you have to go towards the point, the Pyro is not as good. And actually, that's a crits coming out from Shade onto Habib. It enforces the Uber Soldier bombing in. They're trying to get on Habib, but Aim not really able to get considerable damage. And now High Five. He doesn't get the pick on Banny, though. High Five gets two picks. Huge wow. from High Five on the flank. Might make it three. <laughs> wow. High Five cleans up the whole flank. And now Froyo might be caught in. They're bombing them on the cliff. Shade down Habib down. It's just Yomps alive. Wow, what a play by Swift. That was excellent, considering they, they pushed out with the Pyro, and then bot mode has now switched off. And then High Five just rolled the flank over, so it's extremely well played by Swift. Yeah, absolutely. You can see after that fight, Shade has switched off the crit streak. He's done with that shenanigans, uh, gone back to the regular uh, medigun. So good on Swift. The crew themselves worthy of the uber charge out of Froyo Tech. Shade willing to equip that now. Now, of course, Froyo Tech have a bit of a mountain to climb. They got to get up on this point. And uh, they're up against an uber charge advantage. Zilly does have 68% at this point. Yomp's thrown up in the air, juggled not where he wanted to go. Now having to get back out through his flank, so he'll be a uh, fine return back to his team. But Eric getting some time on points, and they're still just trading some spam back. Uh, Eric's going to go down about 90% from Zilly. Yeah, Froyo tried to just go for kind of a slow push there. Yomp's actually bombing aggressively, trying to get it on the meta. And here comes all of Froyo going for the meta right now. They aren't going to get him, though. Yeah, Zilly is going to live here. It's just a beeb alive. He's actually taking too long to die at this point. So, yeah, his spawn is going to be just five seconds extended. But that's, you know, five seconds on Vine. That's all All five of those seconds are valuable. So, yeah. a beeb is going to be coming up now. And yeah, Froyo, they, they took a really slow, slow, slow push there, which resulted in them just taking so much spam. And then when Eric went down, 
and they were forced to go for a sack play, but now they're going to come in aggressive. Yomps just bombing right through. Shade does have the Uber up right now, and that's Banny onto the point. They're going to try to go for the exchange, but Blaze dies immediately. Yomps is in so deep right now, too. Uber popped off by Shade, but Zillia is still holding on. This is a way better exchange for Swift, as Laz is in deep behind, and they're chasing them out. Cliff, this could be really bad for Froyo, depending on how aggro Swift gets. But now Yomps back in onto Zilli, goes down. They're repushing. Zilli's caught out, though. He goes down. This is a huge mess on the points, Froyo. They're coming back in, and Swift just players bleeding away. Oh, and Habib gets one right at the end there on to aim. Yikes, the only player left alive, and he died really early in that fight, so he has to run all the way back. Great aggression coming out of Eric, managed to get that uh, quick frag onto uh, Zilli as he was running away. So, for Tech, once again, proving their dominance, but uh, it's not over yet. They're back in this forward hold position. Now they have uh, Uber Charge advantage, and it's actually an Uber Charge trying to hold this uh, forward hold, so... They're probably not going to give it up quite as easily as they did last time. Swift have to work a little bit harder to break out of here. And it's going to be AIM jumping in behind. Uh, it's a bomb as well by Laz. Getting some damage down on the Blaze. They do get that frag. And they get Eric as well. This is going really well for Swift. They might have actually got some damage down. Watch out for Banny in the back lines, actually. In a 1v2, bot mode is able to clean him up. Try to get some damage down onto Yite the Demo Man, but it couldn't happen. Still fighting here on this middle point. High five. Taking a lot of damage, but still just pestering this team. And here comes the big bomb in. Looking for the force on a Shade. Laz does get it. Shade popped up in the air and respecting the soldier play there as he does pop that uber charge off so good job by Laz does exactly what he needs to do and gives his team uh not quite uber charge advantage because Zilli went down somewhere in there yeah Benny actually pushed into spawn against Zilli which was a huge play meanwhile high five making huge plays of his own but now yeah Swift they want to come back in huge fight on the flank right now Yomps in deep both teams trading one for one as Swift are trying to make some uh some kind of play onto the point both teams actually dropping three players now. High five is so aggro onto Banny. He needs to be careful. No heals for Swift as Zilli is dead. Habib caught on the flank. Might go down to the soldier regression. No, he's actually able to live, uh -huh. and that's Banny. He's going to save his teammate. And Shade kind of alone on point is Yikes there. Somehow still alive. Bot mode coming back and now fighting 1v1. Takes out Banny. He's traded out. Spawns are going to be in the favor of Swift, though, as they don't have control of the point. Yeah, AIM doing some spam as well, and Blaze is going to be getting up in the back lines. Going to be falling right on top of the players, and AIM is going to end up going down there. Everybody kind of just passive on Swift. They don't really want to fight this. There's one big player in. That was Laz. Got the frag on Habib. Exactly what he needed. Shade popped that Uber Charge off now, though, and they're pushing forward on the Yike. They should get that frag, but the time is so low. It is going to go over into overtime. High five in the back lines. He's gotten the frag on a Yomp. Does get taken out by Eric in the end, though. And so now it is up to Swift. They need to get on this point. They still have over a minute on that clock. Bot mode is getting on it now. They do have the player advantage. Two players still down from Ferrari Tech as Blaze is just respawning now. So they should be able to get this capped off. They just got to play it right. Banny standing on it just a little bit. Try to uh, stop this point from being capped off. Now Eric is going to attempt it. But there we go. Finally, it does get capped off. So Ferrari Tech in overtime in a minute eight on Swift's clock. Yeah, and Swift has 100% Uber. So Ferrari are going to have to force this if they want to take this point back. High five is going so insane right now. Throughout that fight, he was just behind Froyo and won two 1v1. So he's just going insane right now. Habib is trying to press up to the point. Shade's actually about to have the Uber. So if all of Froyo live, they could just take an exchange here. They are taking a lot of spam, though, uh, due to them not having control of the point. They're all just kind of gathered up a rock. And yeah, Shade looks like he's about to get this Uber. Swift, they see victory in their sights. It's coming down. They got 35 seconds left on their clock. This is very doable. This first round's been very back and forth, but they gotta hold on for just a little bit longer. Yomps gets on that point, and Furry Attacks pop off the Uber Charge. Swift as well, popping in kind. Nobody down, but Yite dropped in the middle of this Uber. That's not what you want to see if you're Swift. Yomps in the back lines as well, gets forward. Blaze gets the frag on Laz, and now we see players all over the place. A lot of damage going down, and that is gonna be it. Swift got taken down. Furry Attacks were able to cap the point, and they are gonna take the first round. Yeah, that was such a close round. A high five really went off and in that last play and really throughout the whole map so far. Yomps is doing an excellent job of making space on pocket, getting behind on the Ubers like you should on Viaduct. So Yomps is uh, filling in his role well. Up on this rock, Blaze is gonna be the first one to bomb in aggressively though. On to Laz, got some damage down him on the flank, but now he's gonna meet bot mode as the first one to die. But there we go, Yite and Laz both end up falling in the end to Eric, who's done a really good job. But now it does go down. Swift aggression really coming out full force. Got some damage down on the Banny and Habib separated as well. Shade all the way on this left hand side, having to back off the spawn with no players around him. He's not really being chased, but it's these two aggressive players, Banny and Habib, the only players still fighting for Freya Tech, and they're just gonna let that point get capped off. So the initial cap going in favor of Swift. Yeah. Once again, these Swift scouts, they're making it happen on the flank. Froyo, they want to come back in. They don't quite have Uber, so if they go too fast, this could potentially be dangerous. Shade at 85%, Zilli 100, and Yike gets the pick with a pipe on the beam. That's huge. And actually, committing players for Froyo right now, they could go down. 
This could be really bad if the Ubers are exchanged, but no, no, no. Freyo, they're gonna, they recognize the situation, so they're just gonna back off to the cliff and wait for the Habib respawn. And now it looks like they want to take the Uber back in. Scouts coming in, Yams with a huge bomb again. Oh, Zilly drops wow. the soldier bomb. Oh, but so many losses for Froyo. They could still lose this fight. Yeah, that's four down for Froyo, but that's okay, because now they can just back off with 100% Uber, and they should be able to take it on this next fight for sure. That was a huge double soldier bomb there. Just, I mean, two directs right at the Zilly's face in one instant, so nothing he could do about that. Yeah, usually when a medic drops to some soldiers, you kind of shake your head at it, but that was so fast. I mean, great spam from uh, Freya Tech, the soldiers there. Now they're getting it on point. You can tell Swift, they're not even really contesting it. We are going to see aim bomb, but he took so much damage, just falls to his death. And last, great job getting out of the back lines. Does have to uh, force off Shade, so excellent job with the soldier pair. Eventually did get the force, which they needed from Shade. Shade didn't quite drop it, so not as good as uh, maybe the soldiers uh, on Freya Tech were doing. Oh, but man. High five gets aggressed on over on flank, and Blaze gets the frag on yeah. him. High five hanging in too long there. Blaze is actually getting aggressive on Zilly. They're all getting aggressive on Zilly. But now all the Swift players are bursting out of the door and it actually ends up with Eric is probably going to be caught. Oh. Banny's going in deep now. Banny running into spawn. 1v1ing high five behind. Pipe by Yite. Yite takes him out. That's actually a pretty crucial pick. But Zilly down. This is uh, total chaos right now. As Swift are trying to regain control of the point. Dude, bot mode going down, Laz in alone. He's oh, he just struggled to end air shot. He's actually gonna be able to <laughs> run out of there. He's propelled by Yomp's rocket. He's gonna make his escape. So some good in this, I suppose. They also still have this time advantage. It's ticking down. Fartech should be getting it uh, very shortly here, unless Swift can get on the point ASAP. But they have that going in their favor. It's about even at this point. Of course, what's not even are the Uber charges. Shades at 100%. We'll see Swift need to do something, maybe try to force this. It could go for the four-man sack and uh, just hope that something pays off for them. Common play we see on Viaduct. At least Laz wants to go and do something. Getting in behind the enemy team, making some room for the rest of the team as well. Bot one in this left-hand side, takes down Blaze. Laz ends up killing himself. Aim as well, taken down by Banny. That only leaves four alive on Swift. Make that three. Bot one's going to get taken down this flank as well. So. Uh, almost 80% from Zilly he doesn't have it quite yet, and they weren't able to force Shade or uh, get any super crucial frags without losing too many themselves. So, bombing by Yomps, just juggling Yite up in the air. Now it is 100% on both medics, so we're gonna, things see, uh, we're gonna see things reset and maybe an exchange happening here, Mela. Yes, yeah, Swift were able to get the cap there, uh, but they didn't force Shade, so Fredo is gonna retake him. Yomps getting aggressive again, he really is opening up space right now. Bobo, Shade wow. is so overextended on right. Laz gets Blaze and they get the force, so. Right now, Swift just needs to back up, but it looks like Aim actually might be caught as well. He's still out on the cliff with really low HP. Yeah, they're gonna get all over him. He's launched into the skybox. Doesn't get air, shit, air shot though, air shit. And now, uh, Eric takes out Aim and Yike fighting him on the cliff. All of Swift are, t Eric is kind oh of overextended. God. Wow, that's a huge pick onto Yike. Yeah, that's exactly what he needed. Laz in the back lines. High five takes down Erica, as you said earlier, but Laz doesn't get anything. Finally, Zilly does pop it off, and they're charging forward with high five. They want to get Habib. You can tell they're pumping some shots into him. Shaden Yomps also going down to bot mode, who's on the flank. Did a great job, and Zilly did get cleaned up in the end. Blaze had a good bomb on him, able to get that frag, but that's both medics down, so we're just going to see things uh, even out as far as the Ubercharges are going to go. And this point does turn red once again. So 45 minutes rest on Furiatech's clock. And uh, this point's kind of up for grabs. There's not a whole lot of players alive on either side, but Furiatech are now asserting their dominance, and they should be able to cap this off right again. But there goes Laz. Not what they need to see on the side of Swift. They've gotten a lot of damage down on the players on this left-hand side, but not quite enough to get any frags. And now Zilly's in a bit of trouble. Eric is pressuring onto him, and Botmo's trying to get aggressive now. On the shade, can he get this frag? He's so low. No, not going to be able to get it in time. But meanwhile, everybody's cleaning up on the side of Froyo Tech. Only Z uh, Yite alive. Oh, man. Yeah, Froyo just totally exploited the flank there. And the fact of the matter is, Zilly dying at the end of the last fight and due to the Viaduct respawns, wasn't able to get back to the point as fast as Shade was. So they were trying to get in there, and then Froyo just totally aggressed the flank, which caught the entire team of Swift off guard. And now that ends up with them at a massive disad. They're going to have to retake the point. 30 seconds left is what Froyo needs to hold it for. Aim trying to make a bomb on the rock. But last going out, Froyo again just so aggro on the flank. Yoink trades out one, but that's not going to be enough. They need to get this pick on Eric. They do. And actually, Blaze coming in. If they get one more pick, this could be potentially winnable. But no, the Uber is going to come in. This could do serious damage to Swift. Yike is definitely going down. And Zilly is caught way <laughs> in on the point, and he's likely going to go down. Banny, yeah, Banny does end up getting him, but now the scout's coming in, actually. They do manage to take out Habib. His last flying in as well. Blaze is low, Banny low, but Shade alive, healing them up. Uh, unlike Zilly, who's dead, and his teammates suffering the lack of no heals. 
and they are all going to eventually go down. Freya wins the second round. This fairly close so far. I mean, these Swift Scouts are definitely opening plays up, but the problem is Zilly is just going down at really, really poor times. So they need to just watch for the Soldier Aggression, because that's really what's doing the damage to them. Round three coming in here. Furry Tech wins this one that will end the half. Played with a very fast bomb. He's doing the same thing he's done a lot of times, but again, he's going to pay for it with his life. Eric gets in as well, but again, very low. Does get taken down. Gets the frag on the last comp state. Yom Benny all going down. Furry Tech not having a great time on these mids overall. But even Shade, last two players left alive, and they're being thrown up in the air. Shade gets that pack, so he's not going to die just yet, but finally does go down as Bot Mode's chasing and gets in on a Habib as well. Bot Mode's been playing really good for Swift. Yeah, Bot Mode's starting to step it up. High five, retaining the consistency. They just need to be able to keep Zilly alive. They need to be expecting the soldier aggression and they need to properly handle these Froyo flank pushes. That is the most deadly part of Froyo's Viaduct game. Eric and Blaze will get so aggro on the flank, but then instantly the rest of Froyo follows them up. They need to get, they need to stop getting caught out from that Froyo play. And Eric is actually up on the sniper right now. You don't see him snipe too often. So we'll, we'll see what he's able to do. He's gonna bump Cliff, get the Dragon of Lads. Okay, that's something opening up for his team. Now we'll see what the rest of Bright Tech want to do. It's a big bomb by Yams. Great job getting the rocket on a high five. That leaves only four alive, and they're gonna choose to pop their Uber Charge off, run for it across this point they are, and there's three players in behind that Swift needs to clean up, ideally not losing too many players, and Zilly goes down again. Yams, oh my god, the Bright Tech players cleaned up, won every fight in the back lines. Yams got three of them, and man, that's gonna be a disappointment on the side of Swift. Yeah, that's just disaster on the side of Swift. I mean, their, their flank is getting totally exposed once again in, in that uh, play, and that just ends up with the entire team going down. They tried to go forward with the Uber, but they couldn't because so many players were behind. It was just a total mess. Bot mode going down early on this push means it's going to be canceled. High five trades one, which is good, because it'll take a long time for Blaze to respawn, but now kind of caught in is Yike. Yeah, he's going to go down. Uber not forced from Shade. Actually, Yike is going to that's a really good pick, considering Habib is on now a 14-second spawn, and you can see Yikes was only 7 seconds, so... Swift are going to get up faster, but they still need to force the Uber, which is going to be the main crux of this push. Froyo making way back towards the point, just going to play defensively. Yeah, choosing not to hold on that forward hold as those spawns you were talking about, probably the good option. Um, now Swift are getting a little bit of time on point, but of course they don't want to get too aggressive just yet. They're only at 60% and Shade's gonna pop his off to get aim and bot mode. Zilly looks like he's gonna live this time, although maybe not. Chase into the yard by Banny. Great job by the Furry Tech scout. Gets cleaned up by Laz, but it doesn't matter. He accomplished what he wanted to do. And you see what happens with Furry Tech when they pop these Uber charges off. They get exactly what they want, and it's just not happening the same for Swift. Yeah, luckily for them, they did get the force. Uh, both or both teams rather are going to be six up, and right now it looks like Swift are going to try to make that push out low right. Eric aggressive soldier aggression coming in now though. Right on Azuli, he's so low, and he almost gets in. He gets the pick on Azuli again. Oh, this is just really terrible right now for Zilly. I mean, it's the team just, they can't shut down the soldier aggression. Bane kind of in behind on the point. Shade is surfing his way out of there. It's really just another chaos situation, which Viaduct certainly lends itself to the chaotic moments. Uh, Shade is going to manage to get out of there while Banny distracts on the point. Swift get the cap, but Shade, 50% add, means that Furio are going to be looking to punch in here real soon. Yeah, two minutes on the Swift clock, but it's going to be hard to hold for that long. As you were talking about, Shade's Uber Charge is building 80% already. So as soon as he gets it, you can tell they're going to be trying to get in. We'll see what kind of uh, pressure Swift wants to put up in response. High five getting aggressive on a blaze over in this gray area, but forcing to back off. And now Aim is able to jump in. They're doing a lot of damage on the side of Swift, but no frags just yet. Up in the air, Blaze is going to land. Bot mode's the back line as well. Aim all over this combo and getting some damage down. Shade is forced to pop that Uber Charge off, so that's exactly what Swift needed. They just need to keep their medic alive live though they've lost bot mode they've lost aim they didn't get any frags in response but keeping four alive keeping this super charge advantage that was pretty good yeah they got zilly out of there immediately hopefully mm -hmm. from this point on learning from the mistake they've been making and now they have a massive ad look at this aggression though from the flank all of Froyo's in deep high five's kind of exposed he's in alone bot mode trying to come out bot mode and Laz are making it happen on the flank they're on the shade right now on the point but the rest of swift can't catch up to bot mode and shade somehow <laughs> surfing into the team i don't know what's going on this is Viaduct at its finest, complete and utter chaos. Yops is in, gets the force. Eric caught in as well now, trying to get some directs on him. This actually could fall apart for Swift. Their positioning is not that great. They're trying to deal with these players behind. It's Eric still jumping around on the scout, but he does go down to aim. And now Swift kind of just seems to gather themselves as a team, walk forward, cap this point, and take positional control. It was a little shaky, but they won the fight in the end. Swift are going to be able to cap that point off. 30 seconds left on Friar Tech's clock. 
so uh, they just need to get it and hold on for a little while longer, but uh, of course they are at an uber disadvantage, so that might prove to be somewhat challenging. Banny taking a lot of damage early on, but Yom's perfectly timed bomb, Eric gets the frag as well onto bot mode, so great job by Furtek, now they've got some players in behind, now they can start pressuring Zilli. Laz also going down, and high five, and aim, my god, Blaze Banny doing a lot of work in the back lines here, and there goes Zilli, this is the complete collapse of Swift. I would expect this round to go in favor of Furry Tech again, but uh, Swift, they might have one more shot at this. Yeah, I mean, once again on that push, Froyo just abusing the flank. Bomo could go down early. That's not good at all. That's, he just can't die there. And, and now he's going to be on a 10 second respawn. And for the initial part of this push, he's not going to be there for Swift. Swift do have to go. Shade has 100% Uber in their forward holding. So this uh, spells impending doom for Swift. Most likely. We'll see what they're able to do. Aim trying to get out there. Uber is still not forced. High five out from main. Shade still at about 100 HP. He's not going to have four bars to run into spawn with the Uber now. Just add a little insult to injury. And that's going to be the first half. 3 0. Yep. Not what you want to see if you're a Swift fan. I mean, really, uh, as those rounds ticked over, um, the first one was really, really close. The second one, okay, Furiotech kind of had that one, but it wasn't over. And that third one was complete domination from Furiotech. I mean, it wasn't like 100%. It wasn't like Furiotech versus Hooligans for Hire or something. But uh, that's not what you want to see from Swift, who are looking to place maybe second or third this season. Um, going up against Furiotech here. Uh, we can take a look at some of these stats, Mela, but... Oh. Uh, Looks like the game. Wait. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I don't think that's real, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> the count. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got bamboozled by the map. All right, where are these stats? Oh, I'm just pulling them up now. So, top frag looks like it was 29 on the side of Eric. He had a really good game. And then 391 DPM from Banny. So, it's just as you were saying earlier. I mean, the scouts make all the difference, and they're showing up for Froyotech. Yeah, uh, sorry, not Zilly. High Five and Bomb Mode were definitely making some good plays, but honestly, towards the end there, High Five just started getting caught out more and more. He wasn't able to get the frags he was when he was going for the flanks earlier in the game. Froyo kind of picked up on what he was doing, and that spelled an end to his shenanigans. So High, high Five is kind of going to rethink his game at this point. I think he's got to play a little bit safer. And overall, Swift just need to be concerned about this flank aggression from Froyo. That's what's winning them all of these... You know, in between situations where the Ubers really aren't at play, but now we're off to the next mid. Yeah, so here we go. Second half coming in now. Laz gonna be going in for a big bomb early, just getting in behind. Now we see the rest of the Swift's aggression getting some good damage onto the shade, and they're gonna get that frag really, really early. They do lose Laz and aim for it, but that's okay. They're gonna get a couple more frags. Gaunts as well does get taken down. It's total chaos over on the right hand side. There goes Blaze and Eric as well, so that leaves two left alive on the side of Furtech. Bot mode in the back lines, trying to get the frag on Habib, but not gonna happen. Habib throws out the taunt after hitting a nice pipe, but uh, still a good start for Swift. Um, keeping their medic alive and capping that point off, they're gonna start off uh, pretty well in this half. Yeah, Swift needs to get the super fast though. Bot mode dying late and Furio are gonna come right back in. They're getting out of the point. Bolt Soldier's flying into the flank again as Furio does. Yomp's getting so aggressive. Yite's really the only one up towards the point right now. Kind of overextended. And Yomp takes advantage of that by hitting with two clean rockets. So now, Swift though, they respond with two frags and they're about to have this uber. Bot mode aggressive, fighting two scouts alone. Last gonna reinforce him. And now, yeah, that's high five. Just running forward, just laser beams to beam off the map. Shade gonna make his escape through main. High five actually overextends and goes down. Laz is in deep. Uh, Laz trading, that's not good though. A trade on Viaduct is not great. Except Swift, well, it depends. They might delay this cat maybe to get their spawns. But actually, Laz is gonna come up early. And now the rest of the party, they're trying to come back in though. Yomps is aggressive again immediately. Yeah, and look at Zilly's positioning, forced to pop that Uber charge off, thrown way up in the air. I mean, Swift are going to get a lot of frags off that, three players going down, that's nice, but uh, Fire Tech aren't going to be too concerned about that, especially with Botmo just running into a trap. Habib's going to taunt once again because of that kill, so Fire Tech now 100% Uber charge on the side of Shade. They're focused on this cliff side, so they're going to be looking to take it in there, and you see, it was so close, Swift almost got the frag on a Shade, but now because they didn't, they're going to have to face an Uber charge and probably end up giving up this point. We'll see Furry Tech are going to take it in now. Banny getting some point time. Are Swift actually going to uh, make this into a fight? That's kind of the question. Are they just going to back off? They're taking a lot of damage, and Yite's hitting some pipes, but does get taken down anyways. Trades out for Eric in the end, and now we see Aim jumping all over the point. Almost capped it off, but not quite. Jumping into a whole core of Furry Tech players, and Laz isn't done yet. Finally does force off Shade, so that's a great job by him. If Zilli can stay alive here, this will be good. Botmo's in the back lines, and nobody's really going for Zilli, so this is going to be A-OK -okay for them, unless Botmo can do some crazy. He does get taken out by the stickies of Habib, so uh, this point still never got capped by yeah. Fire Tech. 
that actually really couldn't have gone better for Swift. They got the Uber Force, they built the Uber for a long time, retained the cap because it just took so long for Froyo to take out the players. Now they're getting aggressive on the cliff, which might be a mistake because Zilli's about to have that Uber. Players flying in right Oh, the pop by Blaze takes out Zilli, and that's going to be that for Swift. Bombo trying to make something happen at the point, but that Blaze Bomb just seals the deal on that push him in. Uh, yeah, that's that's rough for Swift, and now Shade, a 65% add. Swift are going to have to move quick here. They're going to want to take this push before Shade gets to the Uber, or else that really might just be the end of the round for them and the match. Blaze can go insane at some points. I mean, that bomb was really, really well uh, put together by him. Now it's 95% on the side of Shade. I mean, uh, 31 from Zilly, so they're going to have a tough time getting up onto this point. They have slight time advantage. That's ticking down for it. Tech will get there in no time at all. And ooh, a big pipe from Habib coming out. He's on a 7 kill streak right now. Aim again. Eats some stickies from Habib. Gets another one. Shade is forced to pop that Uber charge off. Last in the back lines. That's going to be something good. This time Habib's the one bombing up on Cliff, but Zilly's back safe and sound in the spawn. Eric in a 1v1 against High Five, and High Five's losing it. Does get taken down in the back lines as well. Laz cleaned up by Banny, so for uh, Fury Tech had to pop that Uber Charge off, and sometimes it's been ticking down, but ultimately it is going to be Swift and the ones with this Uber Charge advantage, and Banny's in on Zilly. Zilly's so low, and just get bomb dropped into Blaze once again in the exact same spot, and the whole collapse. It's only high five and Laz. Now, Shade did get taken down by Laz in the back lines. Great job by him. Unfortunately, the rest of his team died. Yeah. Laz potentially salvaging this for Swift. They're gonna get those fast spawns, so they need to go immediately. 50 seconds left on the clock for Froya. Yomps hiding close, but he's just gonna get away. Bono's kinda on the hunt for him. He wants to get this frag, but I think Yomps is probably gonna get out of there. Yeah, now they just need to cap this point right now. Froyo, oh my god, Zilly goes down into a trap. And now Froyo destined to take this round, I'd say, at this point. Shade gonna be building this Uber up. The rest of Swift are just on low HP. Eric's in deep. He actually goes down, so this isn't necessarily over depending on what Bobo can do. He's actually aggroing to Blaze. I mean, that didn't really make any sense. He was at 50 HP. He probably should have just went back, got some health, and they could fight at 6v5. But he goes down, so now it's a 5v5. Shade doesn't have Uber yet. High five trying to make something happen, just doing pistol damage to the He actually gets him pretty low. But now here comes that soldier aggression again. That's Yomps on the right side flank. Banny as well, Blaze in the tunnel. Yomps actually super weak on the point. Swift are sort of advancing. Yomps goes down to fall damage. Eric in deep. No, actually, that's Banny, and no one touches the point. That's going to be the game. Fury Tech <laughs> wins it against Swift. 4-0 in a uh, disappointing match for Swift. I'm sure they were expecting better. I mean, maybe they weren't the favorites to win, but uh, at least a round would have been good for them. But Fury Tech absolutely dominating this, and really every player on that team went huge. I mean, I can't think of a single player um, who had a bad game on the side of Fury Tech, but... Really on the side of Swift, I mean, players like Zilly. Zilly, I feel like in that second half, he did die less. Obviously, it was a lot shorter the second half, but... Um... I felt like he died more. <laughs> oh, really? Those, well, those blaze bombs. Oh, true, true, yeah. Those were a little unfair, though. I and feel the like Habib that's just sticky kind of... trap. This is very unfortunate. I mean, some... Yeah, yeah. I mean, really, that was just... When Blaze got those kills, I mean, credit to him for making it happen, but also Swift were just so... Taking so much time to push out of that doorway, like... You don't want to be standing in a doorway for that long, and they opted to do it twice in a row. I mean, just, mm -hmm. I don't think any, I think that's one of those situations where no one makes the call, of like, let's go now. We're going now. And they just ended up kind of just standing around and paid the price for it twice. Uh, so, I mean, really just all around Froyo outclassing them, especially on the team code. I'd say more than anything, though, on the cohesion front. And just the team play for Froyo is so much better. I mean, their flank aggression, which has been the Froyo staple of their Viaduct play since their uh, inception as a team. And, I mean, just still works, so. Yeah, not a whole lot to say about this one. Nobody topping 400 DPM. Yite almost did, actually. Uh, hit 397. So, just a few notches off. Uh, I didn't really see him going off, but, uh, I mean, obviously, Demo on Viaduct, you're going to get a lot of uh, damage. But, you know, still good for him for uh, picking it up for his team. Apparently, he was hitting a lot of stickies and pipes. So, that's always good to see. On the upside for Swift NA, other than Yite, I thought Laz was doing a really good job. Um, bot mode as well was pulling his weight in that match. Um, even if with Laz, it doesn't really reflect in the stats. The plays he was making, yeah. I, thought, I thought, were big. Yeah, Laz actually did get a lot of the... Uh, he got the majority share of the Uber forces that came out of shape. Mm -hmm. It's just, obviously, that doesn't count anywhere on the scoreboard. 
And when you're sacking in as a roamer on Viaduct, your stats just get inflated in the negative way. So that'll happen sometimes. Um, but he definitely was getting a lot of the forces out, so credit to him for that. And Yeah, I mean, it's it's just a rough game. That is a rough game all around for Swift. I mean, really, a lot of that just came down to the uh, the medic situation. I mean, Shade, six deaths. Zilly with 16. And a lot of it didn't come from Zilly himself. I mean, the majority of that was just the team not being decisive and Froyo's decisive aggression catching them out. So, I mean, just, uh, yeah, a lot to work on there on the side of Swift. Yeah, we had a couple other games going on tonight as well that we uh, aren't covering here on TFTV. So I can just go over those scores real quick. Um, Velocity Esports beat my enemy list 4-0. I was expecting that one to be a little bit closer than it was. Yeah. Um, and then Running With Scissors are currently up 3-1 to one on uh, Black Swan. So that's maybe where I expect that score line to be as well. So uh, pretty, pretty uh, not a great game, or not a great night all around for TF2. A lot of uh, 4-0s, but I mean, that's the dominant team showing why they're the dominant teams and showing why they deserve to be at the top of the uh, leaderboards. Yeah, it's actually pretty interesting that uh, Velocity got a 4 over four zero over my anime list. Would have expected that to maybe like 4-2, something like that. Not a 4-0. But regardless, um, yeah, that's it for that's it for Viaduct week. And uh, what's happening next week? We're moving on to CP Snakewater. So. And I don't even know if that is it for Viaduct week, because I believe there's a match happening Sunday. I'm not saying oh. for sure we're going to cover it, but... Um, I think it's anime lists versus hooligans for hire. So oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think it could be kind of cool. We haven't seen hooligans for hire yet. Uh, they're a new team and in invite this season, so uh, it'd be kind of cool to see how they play. Uh, I don't think they're predicted to do like extremely well this season, but uh, still, they got a cool new logo, so uh, I kind of want to watch that game. But thank you guys for uh, coming out for us tonight and uh, watching this game with us. My name has, of course, been Corn Pop, and I've been casting with Mela. Shout out to Nysil on the production as well. Uh, never get enough love as they do on the production. So shout out to him. Uh, if you look on Team Fortress TV, in two days, we've got an ETF2L match coming up. And, of course, next week we'll have even more NA matches for you guys. So uh, be sure to check back there, and uh, we'll see you then.